Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. All out war underway now as feds just show up in riot gear with shocking surprise. In a stroke of complete irony and a demonstration that open borders proponents are not all that bright, a protest that was intended to support immigrants while expressing their ire with President Donald Trump's zero tolerance policy regarding those who cross the border illegally has actually made things significantly more difficult for legal immigrants attempting to follow the law. Officials from U.S. Customs and Immigration ICE, were forced to shut down an office that provided services to immigrants because protesters from a group calling themselves Occupy ICE have created security concerns by blocking the sidewalks and the facility's entrances in Portland, closing the facility. Their goal? To shut the ICE office down permanently. This is a move that would cause considerable problems and inconvenience for immigrants who lived in the area and needed to do business there. Day 6 of the occupation by protesters surrounding the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Field Office in southwest Portland. June 22, 2018. Making matters even more volatile, Portland police were ordered to stay away from the rapidly growing encampment beside the ICE building because Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler has declared the protest to be the federal government's problem. One woman complained about protesters being harassed and being sprayed with human feces. But Wheeler is unmoved stating protesters will have to figure out how to handle these sorts of issues on their own. I want to be very clear I do not want the Portland police to be engaged or sucked into a conflict, particularly from a federal agency that I believe is on the wrong track that has not fully lived American values of inclusion and is also an agency where the former head suggested that people who lead cities that are sanctuary cities like this one should be arrested, the Portland mayor tweeted. It seems Wheeler is unconcerned that nearby businesses and residents of the area have been forced to hire private security in order to even get to and from their homes and businesses as protesters are refusing to allow people to pass. Theft is a common occurrence and tempers are short as the problems continue to escalate. One protester scaled the ICE building itself and removed the American flag from a pole. The Oregonian Report Stash Protesters outside of Portland's U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement headquarters are increasing efforts to help immigrants who miss appointments because the federal office is closed. We're the ones who shut the building down, said Jacob Bureros, an organizer with Direct Action Alliance, which helped plan the protest against President Donald Trump's immigration policies. It's not their fault they can't get to their appointment. ICE officials temporarily closed the downtown office Wednesday because of security concerns after dozens of protesters blocked the facility's entrances. Translators and lawyers volunteered to assist anyone who showed up seeking ICE assistance, Bureros said. Marianne Warner, of Portland, is helping coordinate translators and transportation out at the encampment. She said four people came to the facility Friday, and about ten came Thursday. Most were there to check in with the agency or update their addresses. My parents are immigrants, and the last thing I'd want them to experience would be missing check-in, Warner said. That's a terrifying place to be in. Other volunteers will drive families to desired destinations, whether it be home or the ICE facility in Tacoma, he said. Bureros said the camp continues to receive loads of donations, including money. Donations are being given to immigrants showing up for appointments as compensation for the costs involved in getting to the downtown facility. He said some of these efforts started Wednesday, but a more concrete assistance plan was put in place Thursday night. Tents now line the length of the ICE building at 4310 Southwest McAdam Avenue. It's exploded, it's just massive, said Bureros, who estimated about 100 people stayed the night Thursday compared to about 50 Wednesday. He anticipates even more will join as the weekend arrives. Friday's encampment plans include the invoking of Shabbat at 5.30 p.m. by members of the local Jewish community and the daily 8.30 p.m. candlelight vigil. A not in Portland protest is planned from 1 to 3 p.m. Sunday at the encampment. The agenda includes speeches by reps Diego Hernandez, D. Portland, Sherry Malstrom, D. Beaverton, and Rob Noss, D. Portland, as well as a march and bike swarm. Members of Occupy ICE PDX said Wednesday that they plan to keep the building surrounded until the Portland ICE office is permanently closed. Bureros said that plan hasn't changed. We're the ones who shut the building down, Jacob Bureros an organizer with Direct Action Alliance, a group that helped block the ICE office and cause the shutdown, told the Oregonian. It's not their fault they can't get to their appointment. Marianne Warner told the Oregonian she was helping to coordinate translators and rides for immigrants who actually needed to get to their meetings at the facility that protesters blocked. She said people have been showing up for their appointments and can't check in. 
My parents are immigrants, and the last thing I'd want them to experience would be missing check-in, Warner said. That's a terrifying place to be in. Early Monday morning, a team of ICE agents and Federal Protective Service officers arrived and secured the building, according to local news affiliate Katu. Federal police dressed in riot gear have been called in to assist and they have begun removing the protesters surrounding the ICE office since June 20 since local law enforcement have been ordered to stand down and refuse to intervene. Lines of federal officers blocked people from returning to the area during cleanup. Behind the officers, other officers piled up debris left from the encampment and loaded the massive garbage mound into a U-Haul truck. Some arrests were also made by those that refused to comply. Officers handed out notices to the dozens of protesters ordering them to vacate the premise and warned them to stop interrupting government business, as well as reminding protesters they were in violation of federal law by blocking access to the building. However, many of the protesters tore up the flyers or refused to take them at all. The protesters have stated the ultimate goal is to abolish ICE altogether and they believe the fact that the office shut down even temporarily is a good sign. On Thursday Oregon's U.S. Attorney's Office issued a statement and advised that officers had begun a law enforcement action to reopen the Portland ICE building on Southwest McAdam Avenue. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.